tap, tap. Test, test.
Bluetooth was connected.
This is my first time ever doing it, so, uh, I mean, I did it, like, all year at home at the NFL games and stuff, but this is the first time, like, in the booth, and I'm, like, fucking nervous and shit.
right here, baby boy. I got you. Look, I came, I came prepared. You could take a look at all that. I kind of yeah, this. No, I need yeah. it back, baby boy. But we could pass it back and forth. No, 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 no. I already know all this. Okay, cool. And then that's Just the valley. The valley back. back and throw this down. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you got the, the head coaches and all that. Blah blah blah. The Vikings is the the white team. Yeah, I mean, I, I know they're going to get them. Yeah. You're welcome, huh? Yeah, good idea.
test, test.
how are you? Thank you. 
In one ear, out the other, right here. Michael Gray. Matthew Gray? And Matthew, is it Matthew? Yeah, Matthew Gray. Yep. And then the only running back is that Nick Morris Sosa. That's the only one I saw. Six seventeen. The captain's taking the field. It is a crisp forty nine degrees outside here in Madera, California. Captains dapping each each other up, shaking hands. The Valley Vikings walking arm in arm out to the numbers. It appears the Valley Vikings will re receive the opening kickoff. Rich Willis, that's the head rest name too. Rich Willis, the head ref, talking to all of his other referees right now, getting everybody on the same page, right at center field. The Valley Vikings. We have a small snack bar out of the Valley Sally inside right underneath the green tent. So if you like to go there, get your chips, snacks, those, whatever they have, it's underneath the green tent on the Valley Sally inside right.
Rich Willis yelling to the Fresno Stallions to get their shit together. Rich is taking a long time here at center field, talking to his ref, making sure everybody's on the same page. Both teams lined up, ready to go. With the opening kickoff underway. And for both of these teams, first game of the year, we have the kickoff underway. That was number 17, Steve McFarland on the drop. The ball will start. Or are we going to get a re-kickoff? We're going to get a re-kickoff here. <laughs> yeah, 12 is on the opposite side. Well, wherever the kick's going, you know what I mean? The referees having difficulties with the chains, setting this game back. First kickoff of 25 minutes late. We have coaches walking on the field. Refs are have a stoppage of play. I believe the refs are asking anybody and everybody if they can do the chains. We have multiple players running off the field. Oh, yeah, you might want to move that. Oh, you might need a couple more guys. little delay before kickoff. Pulling fans from the stands to do the chains. Players, referees, and family all trying to move a gigantic steel cover away from the end zone line. And Unsuccessful. A little history on the Valley Vikings. They are bringing adult tackle football to Clovis. The Vikings are a smash mouth team with a true Viking mentality. Straight across the board, the Vikings are actively recruiting 
So follow them on Instagram and more. It's Valley Vikings 559. Their opponent today is the Fresno Stallions. They've been operating since 2017, bringing a high level of competition to the Central Valley area. They'll be looking to repeat their success from the previous season as they join the CFCA for the 2023 season. And we have officially moved the tin that was covering all of the pads, but the pads are left there to protect the players. And here we go with the official kickoff underway. That is Kyrie's Pennywell, Steve McFarland, set to return this kick. Are you guys operating the clock? They're, they're looking at you. They're looking at you. Tell them you have no timekeeper there, guys. There's no timekeeper up here. How many minutes? How many minutes? How many minutes? 15 minutes. They don't have anybody. Yeah, the referees have their own stop clock. Is someone putting the score up? Nope. Oh. <laughs> you got to turn that thing off. We don't have anybody to do the time. Send somebody. The rest got time. Tell that to the ref. Don't tell that to me. I could put I could put a timer on my stream if it just runs, but that doesn't help anybody here. Oh man, it's getting cold out there. Don't forget, I got blankets if anybody needs it. What are we waiting on now? I think somebody's coming up here right now to do the time. You doing the time? No. Uh, That's not me. That's all me over there. It's over there? <laughs> he said no. Yeah, you have nobody up here that knows that. I mean, we know that, but we're all busy. I think it'd be better just to turn the time off and we yeah. and just have the rest do it. Oh, there we go, finally. All right, Rich Willis saying this is enough enough kickoff time. Fresno Stallions kicking the ball off. That is off the hands again of Stephen McFarland, who's making a move, making one guy miss, making two guys miss, finally stopped at the 41 yard line. Is Brayton getting the start? Is that Brayton coming up? 
Oh, he's maybe playing receiver or something. Nice. Maybe not. All right. Start off first and ten at the forty yard line. Matthew Gray getting the play from the sideline, telling his team this is what we're going to do to succeed. Gray in shotgun. Nick Morisosa on his left-hand side. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Gray gets the ball, hands it off. Nick met behind the line of scrimmage, falls behind for a one-yard loss. Valley Vikings getting a change of personnel. It's going to be a second and 10 ball at the 41 yard line. Matthew breaks the huddle. In the offset pistol formation, Two receivers to his right, two receivers to the left. He gets the ball. It's a roll to the right. It's an option. Gray pitches it. And then instantly tackled Nick Morisosa. Gain of zero. Matthew Gray on an important third and 10 early in the first quarter, telling his team exactly what they need to do to pick up the first down. They are breaking the huddle. Matthew has three receivers to his left, running back on his left-hand side. Gets the ball, looks left. Now he's rolling left. Does not have much time, makes one guy miss, says, I'm going to run it. Picks up the first down, steps out of bounds. Need a 10, pick the 13, first down. Who's, they say keep the clock, there you go, there you go. Matthew Gray with a 13-yard pickup, puts the ball at the 46-yard line. Gray redirecting his receivers, two receivers to the right, running back on his right-hand side. Gray sizing up the defense, says, give me the ball. I'm going to hand it off to Moore. Moore with a gigantic hole, makes two guys miss, makes three guys miss, stays on his feet. Finally tackled at the 32-yard line. Matthew Gray and the Valley Vikings on a roll. Two consecutive first down plays as Matthew breaks the huddle. Again, in the shotgun with Moore on his right hand side, two receivers to the right. Blitz by the Fresno Stallions. 
the Stallions able to make a big tackle for a loss, five yard loss. The Valley Vikings have not yet attempted a pass, a, a pass. All plays have been rushing with a total of 24 yards on the ground. Matthew Gray breaking the huddle. Says, Mora, you're going to be on my left-hand side. I want two receivers to my right, two receivers to my left. Matthew Gray looking at the defense, sizing it up again. Sees a blitz, gets the ball, gets it off quick, throws it to the right. That is a beautiful catch at the sideline, really close to the first down. I believe that is Mark Cisneros on the catch. I believe I'm wrong again. That is actually number 17, Steve McFarlane on the first down. did not pick up the first down, excuse me. That is third and about seven. Matthew Gray in shotgun, gets the defensive line to jump and the play is going. Gray rolling to his left, sees a bunch of grass, says I'm throwing it to the end zone and it is tipped by double zero of the Fresno Stallions, Taji Scott. Another, ooh, excuse me. There was a flag on the play. <laughs> More than likely, it's the defense that jumped. With the Vikings needing seven to pick up the first down, this might make it a very manageable third and two. Rich Willis letting the world know it's fourth down. The ball is being placed at the 35 yard line. A fourth and 12 underway. Valley Vikings with their first fourth down of the season, electing to go for it, needing 13 yards to pick up the first down. Matthew Gray in shotgun. Two receivers to his right, two receivers to his left. Running back behind him a yard and a half on his right-hand side. Gray. The Valley Vikings decide to take a timeout on this very important fourth down.
Valley Vikings getting a pep talk from their head coach, Ken Nelson, telling them exactly what they need to do to make sure they convert on this fourth and 13 gray in shotgun. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to the right. Morris now is on the left-hand side, yard behind him. Gray getting the ball, looking deep to the right, throwing it to the end zone, short. Ball broken up by the defense. Turnover on downs. Twelve seconds left in the first quarter. The Fresno Stallions break the huddle. We have no numbers, very select. So we have two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Running back on the right-hand side, shotgun, handoff to the running back with a hole, making guys miss, getting to the outside, running defenders over. Needed 10, picked up 17. That's double zero, and I believe that's Taji Scott. Taji Scott, double zero. Stallions in the hurry up offense on the left hash. Gets the ball in shotgun, hands it to the running back and the play is called dead by the referees. Clock running, eight minutes, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. The Stallions are in the huddle, getting the play from their coaches. The Stallions are breaking the huddle. <laughs> two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Shotgun for the Stallions. Sending a receiver in motion from the right side down to the right side. Ooh, run to the right. And that is a running back making one guy miss, making two guys miss. Need a 10. Gets pulled down right about 12 yards deep. Another first down pickup. The Stallions have the ball at the 34-yard line. And they're breaking the huddle again, staying in the same formation that has brought them success. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Quarterbacks in shotgun, running backs on his left-hand side. Vikings look like they're showing blitz. And they do. But that is a quarterback keep who is brought down for an amazing sack. That is number 11, Scott Thompson, on the sack. with a five yard loss on the play. That is going to make it second and 15 for the Stallions, their first negative play of the game. The Stallions break in the huddle. Says we need to change it up a little bit. We're gonna put two receivers out left. Two receivers out right. Running back on the right-hand side of the quarterback. Quarterback, number 83, gets the ball. Looking right, has pressure in his face. The play is called dead as there is a flag on the play.
Looks like it's going to be a false start on the offense. That is the preliminary reading. False start. Offense. Repeat second down. Second and 20 now. Ball is at the 43-yard line. The Stallions in very similar formation. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Quarterback in shotgun, running back on the left-hand side. Quarterback getting the ball, handing it off to the running back who has a humongous hole. Falls forward for a gain of two. That was number 32, Roger Rios on the tackle. The first third down for the Stallions. Making it a third and about 18. The Stallions break the huddle and says, we're gonna put three receivers on our left-hand side, one receiver by himself out to the right. My quarterback's gonna be in shotgun. Gets the ball, fumbles it. The running back picks it up, but then falls down. And no flags are being called, and the running back staying on his feet, and he's going, finally tackled at the 38-yard line. The Stallions facing a fourth down. Electing to go for it. It is about fourth. And 15, huge defensive opportunity for the Valley Vikings. The Vikings in a single high safety. The Stallions put two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. The Stallions hike the ball, and their play is called dead. Another flag. We are getting offsides, defense, five-yard penalty. Make this fourth down a little more manageable. Now, with a fourth and nine, the Stallions getting the play from their head coach. Actually, I believe that's Lorenzo giving him the play, the owner of the team. Either way, the Stallions are saying we've had success with two receivers left, two receivers right. Let's stretch the defense out. Quarterback says I'm still in shotgun with my running back on the left-hand side. The Vikings showing blitz. And the ball is dropped, the attempted catch for the running back out of the backfield. Turnover on downs. Don't be shy. The Vikings taking the ball over. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Here we go. The Valley Vikings break the huddle. Putting two receivers to the right, one receiver and a tight end on the left-hand side. Shotgun for Gray. Gray getting the ball, handing it off to his running back, who is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two on the play. That's number 30, 
Jeremiah Caesar's on the run. Gray, breaking the huddle, says I've seen six on the other side with two receivers out on either side, so I'm going to do the same thing. Gray, getting the ball, looking left, throwing left. That is a skipped ball across the grass. Gray complaining to the ref about something. To no avail. Making it third and 12. And that is the last ticks of the first quarter.
14 minutes, 50 seconds. Left and the half. Fourth down and 12. The Vikings set to punt it away. The punt underway. Picked up at the 38 yard line. Makes one guy miss. Two guys miss. Finally tackled the 48 yard line. For the first and ten, the Stallions break the huddle. With success on their first drive, two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Same idea. The Valley Vikings and a single high safety. Stallion set to pass. Pat. Ball is padded. That is going to be an interception. Number 18, Sal Campos. First and ten, Gray in shotgun for the Vikings. Two receivers to his left, tight end and receiver on his right, getting the ball, faking the handoff, rolling to his left with defenders all around. Big time sack. Shotgun for Gray. Two receivers right, two receivers left. Running back on his left hand side. Defense pointing out that the offensive line move. Gray has pressure in his face. He's rolling to his right, gets the ball off in time. That is going to be a catch for Mark Cisneros, picking up the first down. Gray has had a ton of success with pressure in his face, being able to roll to his right and his left, still getting the ball off in time. Yeah. 
with a first and 10. 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Left tail half. Gray is in shotgun. He has two receivers on his left, one receiver and a tight end on his right. Gray in shotgun still. Gets the defense to jump. That's going to be a free five yards for the offense. Here we go. The Vikings in the huddle as we speak, as the defense is making substitutions. Gray telling his teammates what to do to pick up another first down. Two receivers to the left, one receiver and a tight end on the right. Gray in shotgun. Hands the ball up to his running back, Morris Sosa, who is met with defenders in the backfield. With a second and five, the Vikings are in shotgun again. Two receivers on either side of Gray. Morris Sosa in the backfield. Gray getting the ball. Gets it, throws it across the middle, over the hands of the extended receiver, Kyrie's Pennywell. Ball skips across the grass to make it third and five. Valley Vikings breaking the huddle, putting three receivers on Matthew Gray's left hand side. One receiver to the right. Stallions look like they're blitzing. They back up out of it. Pressure in Gray's face, rolling to his left, and another huge sack by the Stallions. Number six on the sack. The Vikings started first and five, ending this drive with a fourth and 16. The Valley Vikings set to punt it off. Fresno Stallions. Set to receive. Vikings get the punt off and the snick of time. It was almost blocked. And the ball is being stopped at the two yard line, giving the Stallions 98 yards on their next offensive possession.
the Stallions with 98 yards to go. First and 10 at the two yard line. The Vikings looking to make a safety to put some finely points on the board. The Stallions looking for some breathing room. Ball's hiked, handed off to the running back who is brought down for a gain of two. With a second and eight, the Stallions still in shotgun. Looks like the Stallions are actually missing a player. But either way, handoff to the running back who jukes one guy and then is brought down for a safety. The first points of the board brought to you by the defense. Number seven, not on my roster. I don't even know who that is. That was number seven. The Vikings with a huge safety to put them in the lead. First points of the season for the Vikings. We have Kyrie's Pennywell and Steve McFarlane set to return the kickoff, the punt off after the safety. With eight minutes left till half, the Stallions are going to punt it off after the safety. Stallions punting the ball off at the 50 yard line, starts the return, making his way, not touched for about 15 yards deep. And the Stallions are saying fumble. Stallions are saying fumble. And I'm waiting for the referees to tell me if it's a fumble or not. And no signal from the ref. Both teams have offense and defense on the field. And Rich Willis is pointing in both ways, finally confirming. A fumble on the punt off. The Stallions will start with the ball at the 37 yard line. Here we go. The Stallions. Relaying the team in the uh, relaying the play to the huddle. Now breaking the huddle 
Two receivers to the left. One receiver far out right. Shotgun. Pistol formation, hands off to the running back who is juke cutting in the backfield and then met by the defensive line of the Vikings. Little pushing and shoving after the whistle. No flags. With a second and 12, two receivers to the left of the wide receiver, the running back. They have ran the last three plays down a player. I thought I was seeing that. Looking left, running it now, rolling to his right, the run, the, oh, absolutely clothesline. Chris Jones on the tackle leaving the running back on the, the ground. That is actually the quarterback. Still on the ground, huge tackle by Chris Jones. Everyone hoping and praying that the quarterback's okay. The quarterback getting up, walking off the field on his own accord, getting talked to by Rich Willis, the head ref. Quarterback is going to have to take this playoff. They're going to put a new quarterback in. Clock is stopping again with Rich. Calling time. with a third and 12 underway. There is a timeout. Third and 12 under the way. Stallions with a new quarterback under the helm. He's in shotgun. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to his right. Running back on his left-hand side. This is number seven. And a lot of pointing and shoving. That is saying false start offense to make it third and 17. With a third and 17, the Stallions. 
in shotgun. Running back on his left hand side. Quarterback getting the ball. First pass of the day, and he's met with pressure. Falls out of one and gets the ball off in time, but it is unable to be caught to make it a fourth and 17. A fourth and 17 happening before our eyes and the Stallions electing to go for it. Getting the ball, and it's actually a punt, and the ball is on the ground, giving the Stallions, making the Stallions turn the ball over, and the Vikings will start with the ball at the 31-yard line. Gray and the Vikings with a first and 10. Ball is directly on the 30 yard line. Two receivers to the right, running back Mora on Gray's right hand side. Handing, faking the handoff, now throwing it left. That is intercepted by the Stallions. Stallions running it back. Finally, plays called dead at about the 15 yard line. with the Fresno Stallions taking the ball over at the 16 yard line. The original quarterback still on the sideline, the backup quarterback talking to the head coach, trying to get on the same page, telling him we're missing a lineman. Stallions in the huddle. Trying to get something cooking on offense. Opening drive, holes were huge. Running back was getting chunk yards. Since then, offense has been completely shut down. With a new quarterback at helm, let's see what the Stallions can do. Quarterbacks in shotgun, gets the ball. Arid snap, running it. That is gonna be a loss on the play. loss of six on the play. We are now bringing the original quarterback back in the game. Ball at the nine yard line.
Shotgun. The original quarterback is actually playing receiver. And the backup quarterback is still playing quarterback. And we had a, a timeout on the play. All right, two minutes. Is that where we're at? The Valley's Vikings defense taking the field. The Fresno Stallion offense ready to go. Two minutes left till half. Stallions in shotgun with the backup quarterback still in. Original quarterback playing receiver. Vikings shove blitz, do blitz, and it's a run. To make it third, 14. One minute, 30 seconds left, I'll have. Stallions, break the huddle with two receivers left, two receivers right. Backup quarterback number seven with a running back on his left-hand side. Getting the ball, handing it off to his running back. His running back rolling to the right and brought down violently by the Val King. Some pushing and shoving going on after the whistle. Neither one of these teams are liking each other early on. With a fourth and 15 underway. The Stallions, with 48 seconds left, I'll have decided to take a timeout. with a fourth. Fumbled for the running back. Throws it, and that is going to be incomplete at the sideline. Turnover on downs. The Valley Vikings looking to capitalize on the third turnover on downs of the day.
With 44 seconds left till half, the Vikings would like to put up some offensive points on the board, starting with the ball at the 19-yard line. Here we go. Vikings. Two receivers to the left. Two receivers to the right. Gray. Locking everything in. Taking a look at the defense. Says, I see what I need. Give me the ball. Gets it. Looking right. Rolling right. Has pressure as he has all day. Gets rid of it. Live to see another day. We have a second and 10 with 37 seconds. Left till half. Gray and the Vikings breaking the huddle. The ball is on the left hash. And it is two receivers on Gray's left, two receivers on Gray's right. Mora on the right side of Gray, who is in shotgun. Stallions, too high safety. Gray. Looking center, that is a connection for number 13, number 12. Kyrie's Pennywell with 30 seconds in the clock moving. Gray spikes the ball down. They do. With 26 seconds. Left till half. We have a second and six. Second and goal for the Vikings. Six yards. 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Who's going to be successful today? Gray. Getting the play from Ken Nelson. telling his teammates we're going to line up two receivers left, two receivers right. Running back, you're on my left-hand side. Stallion showing blitz. Back up out of it. That is a pass incomplete at the back of the end zone. I did think Corey Harris came down with that, but... That is not my call. With a third and six from the goal line. 21 seconds, sell half. The Vikings, two receivers left. Two receivers right. Mora, left-hand side of Gray. Gray putting his mouthpiece in, seeing what he needs in the defense. In shotgun, gets the ball. Looking center, has pressure, rolling right. Gets the ball off. That is a catch. And stopped at the two-yard line. That was number 17, Steve McFarland, on the catch with seven seconds, five seconds. Vikings looking to get one more playoff, and they better not... Spike it. Halftime. That's the half, ladies and gentlemen, here with Air California. All right, it's already set. Just hit start. I'm going to ask them. And if I don't come back, just assume yes and just put the push down. Okay.
Test, test. Coming back from half. Bingo. Stallions set to receive the second half kickoff. They said no time. Don't worry about the time. The Vikings set to kick off. Stallions set to return. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the same thing. And here we go. Ball squibbing around. Finally stopping inside the end zone. Fumbled by the returner. The returner finally picking it up and brings it out. Gets to the two-yard line before he pushes out of bounds. I don't know what he was thinking. I think he thought that, like, maybe it would have been a safety, right? Like, I don't. I think he was thinking, I better get out of the end zone before we get another safety. I don't know. Yeah. Ball. at the one yard line. First and 10 for the Stallions. Breaking the huddle. Number seven playing quarterback in shotgun. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to his right. All the receivers check in with the ref to make sure they're good. Hands the ball off, the running back gets back to the line of scrimmage, falls forward for a gain of two. Make it second and eight. Second and eight. The Stallions breaking the huddle, telling their offensive gurus, we need to move this ball and move it thoroughly. Shotgun for the quarterback. Running back is on his left-hand side. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Vikings defense jumping around. Two high safety deep. The quarterback keeps. Quarterback Quarterback's running to the right. Makes one guy miss. Gets to the first down, steps out of bounds. Gain of 13 on the play. With a sec with a first and ten, we are getting flag on the play. Timeout early in the third quarter. Looks like the Vikings might have called their first timeout of the second half. Both teams talking to their coaches.
here we go. First and ten. Vikings. With their quarterback. Excuse me. The Stallions with the quarterback handing it off to the running back who was brought down right at the line of scrimmage. That's actually going to be a loss of three on the play. Second and 13, the Stallions in the huddle. Stallions breaking the huddle. The backup quarterback taking charge. Number seven with the running back on his left-hand side. Vikings showing blitz. Vikings bring blitz. And that is picked up, ball overthrown, number 84, the intended receiver. Isaiah Alvarez, the intended receiver. With a third and 13 on the opening drive, the Stallions in the huddle exchanging personnel. The Stallions are going to put two receivers on the quarterback's left hand side. Two receivers on the quarterback's right-hand side with a whistle. More than likely, a delay a game. Delay a game. Number seven, offense. With a third and 18 on the way, the Stallions. Getting the ball, looking left, throwing left, going deep over the head of the intended receiver, the receiver quarterback on two different pages. Receiver looked for the turnaround. Quarterback was still in the go route. With a fourth and 18 underway, the Stallions should be looking to punt the ball away. Their last punt, they fumbled. Let's see if the Stallions can get it off. No one's set to receive yet for the Vikings. Now two different guys going back. And the Vikings jump is what it looked like to me but only the rest will tell us. Did the Vikings jump off sides? Yes, they did. Five yards in the offensive favor. Making it a fourth and 13. The Stallions, punter, and Gunners all talking right now. Are they potentially trying to run a fake? Only time will tell. For the 4th and 13, the Vikings back to receive the punt. The Stallions punt it off. And number 7 gets it. Running up the sideline at the 20, at the 10, staying on his feet, finally brought down. At the seven yard line. I don't have his name. Do you have his name, buddy? No. no. Oh, hold on. No. no. Yeah, you don't either, huh? No. Dang it. Number seven on the Vikings with a nice return on the punt. Oh. 
it is going to be first and goal, first and six. The Vikings come, have come up empty-handed in the red zone in their first official game in the 2023 season. Will they be able to put points on the board today? Gray, in shotgun, with two receivers to his right, two receivers to his left. Nick Moore Sosa, in the backfield on his right-hand side. Stallion showing blitz. They do bring it. Gray gets it off in time. And ball intended for Mark Cisneros. Turns and looks at the ref and said, hey, I was getting pulled. The ref says, I agree. Throws a flag. The ref saying, I believe, pass interference on the defense. We will let the white hat, Rich Willis, tell us exactly what happened. Pass interference on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Ball is being spotted at the three-yard line. With a first and three, the Valley Vikings break the huddle. Gray in shotgun has two receivers to his left, a tight end receiver to the right. Nick Morris Sosa fired up and ready to get this handoff. Gets the handoff, running with a full head of steam down, up the middle, brought down at the two yard line. Gain of one. A third and three underway. Oops, second and three. I forgot about the penalty. The Valley Vikings break the huddle. Putting one receiver to the left and a tight end on the left. Gray has two receivers to his right. One of them is a tight end. One of them is Steve McFarlane, far out right. Faking the handoff, rolling to the right. Gray says, I can make it in. And he does. Touchdown, Valley Vikings. Michael Gray on the run to the right. Gets it in. With an 8 nothing lead. Middle of the third quarter. There we go. With an 8 nothing lead, the Vikings setting up for the point after kick. The point after the touch. Vikings looking to the sideline saying we need someone else to come block. <laughs> Game clock ticking. They brought two different extra helps to block. We have the hike. The hold, the kick, all good. The hike was low. The holder, where it was able to pick it up, that was Gray, the quarterback. And on the point after, that is number 77, Juan Gutierrez. I don't think that's right. I think the kicker is Chance Carter, and we have, I could be wrong, it's number 77. We're saying Juan Gutierrez, the only player to play at the University of California, Berkeley.
with a 9-0 lead. The Valley Vikings set to kick the ball off. Fresno Stallions taking the field, looking to return this ball. Yeah. Malik London running all over the field before this kickoff. Kickoff underway and the Vikings. False start. And that'll be a re kick. Luckily for the Vikings, the ball went clear out of bounds. So I will take the five yard over the penalty if I was the Vikings. Moving the kick in position back five yards, the Vikings will attempt the kickoff once again. Number 77, Juan Gutierrez. Set to kick it off. Juan, letting it rip. Going out of bounds again. Could not straighten it out with the extra kick. That is going to be a penalty on the kicking team and the offense. We'll start the ball. I believe at the 35 yard line, but I will wait for the refs to tell me exactly where. Here we go. The Stallions breaking the huddle, bringing a third quarterback in for the game. Stallions get the ball. Quarterbacks looking left, throwing left. That is intercepted by the Vikings on the return, bringing it back at the 40, putting – getting hit out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Valley Vikings will take over on offense. That is Mr. Banks on the interception. First name, Nehama Banks the third on the interception. Valley Vikings in the huddle, getting the play from the sideline. Sal Campos running in. Rich Willis, the head ref, telling everyone, let's rock and roll. Matthew Gray telling his tight end a little something, something he sees in the defense in shotgun. Two receivers to the right. Pennywell getting the handoff. Gets tackled in the backfield for a loss of two on the play. That was Kai Reese Pennywell on the run.
second and 12, Valley Vikings in the huddle. Vikings have the ball at the 24-yard line. Gray in shotgun. Two receivers to his left, two receivers to the right. Stallions look like they're blitzing. Bring the blitz. Gray sees it, gets rid of it. Pennywell on the catch, out of the back, flats, getting absolutely smashed out of bounds by number nine of the defense. But gets up. No problems at all. Kyrie Pennywell with a run on this play and a catch on this drive. All the offense for the Valley Vikings. Third and eight, underway. Matthew Gray getting the play from the sideline. Ken Nelson giving him a doozy to run right here. Gray in shotgun. Two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Running back on his left-hand side. Stallions bring everybody up to the line and only rush six. Gets the ball out. Incomplete pass. Ball intended. Number 17, Steve McFarland. Fourth and eight for the Valley Vikings. They are going to attempt a field goal. We have a 31-yard attempt for the Valley Vikings. The Stallions putting a returner in the end zone. We have the hike, hold, kick. Kick is low. Kick is no good. Off the bottom crossbar. Straight on, just a tad short. The Stallions will take over. We have a first and 10 for the Stallions, who are on their third quarterback of the day. Number 76 is playing quarterback now. With two receivers to his left, one receiver far out right, a running back on his left-hand side. The Stallion quarterback has a blitz in his face, hands it off to the running back, running back, getting to the right, but not able to get the edge, falls down for a gain of none. <laughs> Second and 10, the Stallions, looking like they're going back to their original quarterback, number 83, Kiwan Nutt. Kiwan Nutt is actually playing receiver here. And we are sticking with our third string quarterback who empties out the backfield. And this team's missing an offensive player again. And we are saying incomplete pass by the third string quarterback with the offense running 10 players on the offense again. I don't know how many snaps at quarterback the third string quarterback gets. 
but he is having his hands full with this Valley Vikings defense bringing pressure and getting it to him quick. Here we are again with two receivers to the left. And the offense running 10 players again. <laughs> Pitching the ball off to the running back. The running back with some green grass getting to the edge. Gets to the edge. Gets to the 30, 35 before he's pushed out of bounds. Needed to get to the 35. And that is going to be a first down for number 86. A first and 10 ball at the 35 yard line. The Stallions. Running with 10 offensive players. Why? I'll never know. But it's working. Quarterback, number 76. Sees the blitz by the Vikings. The Vikings bring it out. Says, go ahead, take that running back. He gets to the outside again. Steps out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Gain of eight. All righty, here we go. The second and seven. The offense finally getting their feet set with their third string quarterback. The offense, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I don't know why they're only running ten guys on offense, but it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <laughs> Just had to count again because I thought I was counting wrong. Oh, there we go. We go go throw the number number eleven on there finally. Oh my goodness. Rich Willis saying timeout. Stallion. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but some little kid just yelled at someone and told him, you suck. Oh, man. Too funny. All righty, here we go. Second and seven, the Stallions. Already set on offense while the Vikings are coming back from the timeout. Vikings in a single high safety, telling the quarterback, you can't outthrow me. Number 76, the quarterback, gets the ball. It's an option, and the quarterback says, I'm going to pitch it, double zero. On the first down, picked up 15 before he's pushed out of bounds. That's Taji Scott on the carry. Picking up another first down for the Stallions, who are finally gaining traction, who have been shut out all day. I can hear the defense on discussing who has the quarterback and who has the running back on those plays. And that is going to do it. Final play of the third quarter, fourth quarter, underway. The Valley Vikings 
with a 9-0 lead entering the fourth quarter, are they going to be able to hold on to this lead and walk away with a victory? Or are we going to watch the Fresno Stallions come back from a 9-0 deficit and overtake this win? With one quarter left to play, we will see. Hmm. Ball at the 45-yard line. It's a first and 10 for the Stallions. The Vikings getting a pep coach talk from Ken Nelson, their head coach, saying you guys have pitched a shutout so far today. Keep it up. With a safety, multiple interceptions, this defense is looking stellar. In a single high safety, the Vikings are back. The Stallions, in a new offensive formation, with two running backs on either side of the quarterback, who's in shotgun, two receivers to the left. Hands it off to one of the running backs, who makes one guy miss and is absolutely smacked by number 44. Chris Jones on the tackle. A gain of one on the play, making it second and nine. The Stallions in the same formation as before. Two receivers to the left, two running backs on either side of the quarterback. Quarterback getting the ball, fakes the handoff, rolling left, throws it deep down the right, and is off the hands of the intended receiver, number nine, who has made stellar plays all day long. Incomplete pass. It was a roll to his right, not his left. A big third down here for the Stallions, who have been shut out all day long in this fourth quarter. Are they going to pick up a first down and put some points on the board? Breaking the huddle. Number 76 says, I want two receivers to my right. I want two receivers to my left. And I want that running back on my left-hand side, the Vikings, in a single high safety. Looks like they're going to blitz on third down and bring the heat. They do. Gets the pitch off, and that is an incomplete pass for number 15, the intended receiver. Ball off the hands of 15. And the Stallions on fourth down deciding to go for it. with a fourth and nine. The Stallions break the huddle. They are putting two receivers to the right, two receivers to the left. Number 76, originally a lineman, now playing quarterback in shotgun, running back on his left-hand side. Single high safety, off to the right. Looks like the Vikings are in man. And that is a fumble! Number four on the return! Picks it up, and that's gonna be a scoop and score! Vikings with another touchdown. Vikings score again on the board after the fumble. Looks like a bad snap from the beginning, folks. I'm not too sure on that. With a 15 to 0 lead, the Vikings putting a stamp on this game. I do not have his number. I'm assuming some of the Viking players switch numbers today, and I don't know who number four is. Sorry for that, guys. The point after. The 
Vikings. Attempting the point after the kick. Number 77, Juan Gutierrez. Takes his three steps back, two steps to the left. Tells the center, go ahead and give me the ball. The hike, the hold, the kick. The kick is good. 16-0 in this beautiful Madeira night. Stallions for the first and 10. The third string quarterback looking left, throwing left. That is a catch. Number 15. Gain of two on the play. <laughs> it is so quiet in here. Oh. Second and eight. The Stallions in shotgun. Gets the ball, looking left. Throws it across the middle. That is another contested catch for number 15 who comes up with it. Third and seven. Here we go. Number 76, playing quarterback, tells the running back, 86, you're on my left-hand side. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Ball on the ground for the quarterback, and the ball's bouncing around. That is another scoop and score for the Valley Vikings. Valley Vikings put her end of the scoop of the ball. 
That is number 11, Scott Thompson on the touchdown. I think so. Yeah. Number 11, Scotty Thompson coming up with the ball. I didn't see anybody give the thumbs up yeah, for a touchdown. Like the one yard line. So here we go, Brayton Newell taking his first offensive snap of the game. He's in shotgun. Morisos on his right-hand side. One receiver far out left, two receivers to the right. Plays blown dead. Rich Willis. Both hands on his hips. Saying one of the teams must have called timeout. Great Newell in shotgun. Nick Morisos on his right-hand side. Two receivers to the right, a tight end, a receiver to the left. Brayton looking over the defense. Looks like it's the blitz, and it is. And Nick Morisos says, I'm going to run this ball through the end zone. Touchdown, Valley Vikings. With a 22-0 lead, the Valley Vikings on top. Nick Morisosa able to pick up four yards and the touchdown, and the Valley Vikings are set to kick the point after the touch. Number 77. Juan Gutierrez pointing out the 10 guys in front of him, lining up for the point after the kick. We have the hike, hold, kick. All good. 23-0. Vikings lead. Nice, chilly, crisp night at 47 degrees. The rain has finally let up, but it is still cold. The Vikings set to kick this ball off. The Stallions looking to return this and put some points on the board.
Juan Gutierrez on his last kickoff. Kicks the ball out of bounds. Let's see if he can correct his ways and put the Stallions deep. And here we go. Gutierrez. Ball high. Back to the five-yard line. Double zero. Taju Scott making a return out to the 27-yard line before he's brought down. The kicker bringing down Taju Scott. And all the defense letting Taji know about it. Middle late here in the fourth quarter. The Fresno Stallions putting their second string quarterback back in, it looks like. And the Valley Vikings still pitching a shutout here with their stellar defense. I believe that is four turnovers, two interceptions, two fumbles, one fumble recovery for a touchdown. The defense in two high safeties. The offense put number seven back in at quarterback. Getting the ball. Fakes the handoff, rolling to his left, has pressure in his face, and is brought down for a loss of five on the play. Second and 15 underway. Second and 15, late in this fourth quarter, the Stallions have moved backwards. The Vikings defense jumping and dancing as they've been able to just completely shut out the Stallions with <laughs> two receivers to the quarterback's left, three receivers to the quarterback's right. I take it back. We're going to run 10 offensive plays or 10 offensive players with pressure in his face. Number seven sacked again by Scott Thompson. with a third and forever to go. And about 15. A third and 15, the Stallions. Breaking the huddle. Putting two receivers to the left, one receiver to the right. One running back on the right-hand side of the quarterback. And the Stallions have liked to run 10 offensive players on offense. And the ball is on the ground, getting kicked around. And that is picked up by the Stallions. Fourth down. Anything that could go wrong for the Stallions tonight has. Multiple fumbles, multiple interceptions, multiple drop balls. The Stallions imploding. The Vikings taking care of business, not turning the ball over other than the one interception. With a fourth and forever, the Stallions in shotgun with actually 11 players on the field. A new quarterback in, and the quarterback punts it away, and that is number eight, who's on the return at the 30, at the 20, at the 10, returns the punt. 
for a touchdown. And there's a flag on the play, a flag on the play. Rich Willis saying that somebody ran into the punter, and that is going to be a flag. Let's see. That might be 15 yards and replay four downs, or they're going to give him a first because they definitely needed more than 15 to pick up the first. And he did line up as a quarterback who decided to kick it. So I do see the complaint by Ken Nelson, the Vikings head coach, saying he wasn't lined up as a punter, but yet he punted the ball away. The coaches and Rich Willis, the head ref, talking to one another, telling him it doesn't matter whether he lined up as a kicker, running back, or quarterback. You cannot run into the leg of the kicker. So, I believe they gave the Stallions a first down on that play. So the Stallions will take over the ball at the 40-yard line. Number seven, playing quarterback again. Gets the ball, throws it, batted down at the line. A lot of whistles early. Don't know if we even actually really got that play off. Replay first down. And here we go. First and 10. Number seven playing quarterback for the Stallions. Has the running back on his right hand side. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. The Vikings are showing blitz with a single high safety. And the Vikings do blitz, get it to the quarterback quick, and that is Scott Thompson on the sack. But the ball was coming out, and I believe Rich Willis, Willis was calling the play dead before the ball came out. And that is Scotty Thompson on another sack of the day. Second and 15, late in the fourth quarter. The Stallions showing absolutely no hurry as one of their players is leisurely walking back to the huddle. No sense of urgency, down 23-0. Stallions break the huddle. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. They're actually playing with 11 offensive players. Quarterback has the running back on his right-hand side. Vikings showing blitz, and they do blitz. Marks the scenario, gets picked up, and that is batted down by Scotty Thompson, almost deflected and intercepted. With a fourth and 15, the Stallions huddling up. The ball is at the 35-yard line. And the Stallions still in this huddle, talking to one another a whole hell of a lot. The Vikings defense all on the same page here. The Stallion offense. Quarterback says, I want three receivers to my left, two to my right, no one in the backfield. Give me the ball. Gets the ball with pressure in his face. He rolling right, throws it, and that is tipped by number 44, Chris Jones, who has laid the stick and now has another pass deflection on his resume for the night. Oh, that was only third down? My bad, guys. It is now fourth and 15. The 
the stallion in the huddle. The Vikings defense spread out and ready to go to stomp out this fourth down play. The Stallions say, I will take two receivers to my quarterback's right, two receivers to my quarterback's left, and I want a running back on my quarterback's right-hand side. Vikings bringing no pressure, and it is a punt going absolutely nowhere, and it is caught by number 25. Actually, 26. Chance Park. No, it is 25, and I don't have a 25 on my roster. The Vikings will take over at the 50-yard line. With a 23-0 to zero lead, the Vikings looking to ice this game. Brayton Newell counting up his offensive players in the huddle, getting the play from head coach Ken Nelson telling everybody where they need to be. And it's going to be two receivers to the right, one tight end, one receiver to the left, and Nick Morris goes to the running back on the right-hand side of Brayton Newell. Ball at the 50-yard line. Brayton sees what he needs in the defense, hands it off to Mora. Mora is brought down behind the line of scrimmage, play blown dead for a loss of three. Second and 13. <laughs> Braden breaks the huddle, puts two receivers to his right, two receivers to the left. Nick Morris goes to the running back on the left-hand side of Braden, who's playing quarterback. Sees what he needs in defense, gets the ball, and it's going to be a pitch. And that is not Nick Morris Sosa playing running back. And he is, this running back is making guys miss. Samuel Viscarano on the carry. Pick up five on the play. Third and 10. with a huge third down for the Valley Vikings. They want to keep the clock ticking and end this game in a shutout. I see helmets off players. Did we call a timeout? I'm not sure. I heard a whistle by Rich Willis but no hand movement letting me know what was called. So the Vikings staying with the ball at the 50-yard line. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Viscarano on the left side. I have Brayton Newell playing quarterback. Brayton gets the ball, looking center, throws right. That is over the head of Banks, the intended receiver. With a fourth and 10, the Vikings, they keep their offense on the field, getting the play from the sideline. Brayton says, I like what I see. I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys exactly what, uh-oh. Now, Brayton 100% on the same page with the offensive coordinator. The linemen are good to go. One receiver is good to go. But the running back and all the other receivers are walking in a bunch over to the offensive coordinator, who I believe we're just going to go ahead and call timeout.
Valley Vikings and Ken Nelson pitching a 23 to zero shutout. Middle late of the fourth quarter on an important fourth and 10, the Vikings say we wanna keep this shutout, put the Stallions back as far as we can in their territory and we decided to punt it. With no one set to receive this punt, now finally someone going back for the Stallions. The Vikings set to punt it away. Oh, punter was not ready for the ball and that is a huge loss on the play. Loss of 10. The center hiked the ball with the punter not looking. That will give the Stallions a great starting point with the ball at the 40 yard line. Will the Stallions put points on the board or are they gonna end this game in a shutout? Stallions break in the huddle, and they are going to put <coughs> two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left, and they said, we want to play with nine offensive players? Jeez. <laughs> oh, there's the 10th one. Still not 11, though. Oh, a quarterback keep. Run to the left. Picks up the first down. Spins out of a tackler. And is pushed out of bounds, and he fumbles the ball out of bounds. Ball is going to be at the 20 yard line. With little to no time left here in this fourth quarter, the Stallions in the hurry up offense says, We can do it with 10. We'll do it with 10. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Quarterback getting the ball, looking left, throwing deep to the left, and that is over the head of the attended receiver, number nine. The Stallions need to get with their offensive coordinator during their practice week. They have ran at least 10 different plays with 10 offensive players. Somebody's not on the right page. I do know we are on their third slash fourth quarterback, so that cannot be easy. But here they are again with 10 offensive players, two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right, quarterback by himself. Quarterback looking left, has pressure in his face and is sacked. That's number 11. Again, Scott Thompson. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the final play of the game. That was the game right there? I believe so. So, two dead. And that will do it for our sports fans here in Madera, California, where your score is 23 to 0. Vikings on top. My players of the game, we are going to go with. Number 11, Scott Thompson, who had a hell of a game on defense. A fumble, recovery, three or four sacks, multiple, or at least one pass deflect, and multiple tackles. And I don't know who number seven is, but number seven is my other player of the game on the huge punt return to put the Vikings in scoring position. And we're gonna have to go with Nick Morisosa, the running back for the third player of the game. 
who had a great game running the ball and was able to run for a touchdown. Thank you for joining us. And as always, all love, all day, always.